welcome back to the channel it is march 14th it is almost 5 p.m um i got out of work at three and i was supposed to cook but my mom is cooking my mom and sister they decided to cook so i'm glad because work been work been working me out literally um this week's just it's gonna be a busy week but i got to get through two more days and i'm on friday and saturday so i'm excited about that what is that <laughs> i'm talking to real um so yeah as y'all can see i'm like ready for bed i got the pjs on already i just want to relax and stuff i need to go upstairs and like clean my little area where i used to film my sit down videos because it's just so junky and crazy up there but i'm tired i don't really feel like doing that today i also don't want to do that on my day off because no but um Hello you guys, welcome back to the channel. Bless you. It's um March 15th and I just got back up here to show you the books that I've been reading lately just to help with my mental health and my healing and um, just give me spiritual guidance from time to time. Uh, so the first one, this is actually a journal, Good Day Start with Gratitude Journal. I've been wanting to get back into writing. Y'all... When I was younger, like back in my teenage days, writing poetry and poems and reading, that was like my favorite thing to do. Um, so I just want to always like do this. It just keeps me grounded and I just enjoy doing this. So um, I haven't written in this since last month, but this is just some of the stuff I've been writing. And it's pretty much it ashes you or it gives you three numbers and you're supposed to write down three things you're thankful for. And... I believe you're supposed to do this daily, but obviously I don't. Um, so, yeah. And then it has quotes on. It seems like. Oh, yeah, it has quotes on every page. So, I love that. Like, I really love that. That was a cool and clever ideal. Um, so, yeah, it's just a gratitude journal. Um, so, yeah, I like this. It's just something to keep my, keep my mind focused and at ease. So, yeah. I recommend if you have the time or even if you don't have the time, find the time to like journal and gratitude. It's just so freeing and um, it's a good stress reliever, I believe. Like writing has always been therapeutic for me. So yeah, got this journal. And then these are the books I purchased. How to Use the Power of Prayer, Your Mind Can Heal You. Um, Joseph Murphy, he is a very good author. I read his book, um, The Power of Your Subconscious Mind. I recommend that book to anyone out there looking for a good read, something just to help you um, get through some tough times or challenging times in your life. That is a good book. Um, I started this book, so yeah, I haven't finished this yet, but I loved his The Power of Your Subconscious Mind, so I'm like, I need to order another book by him, so decided to order How to Use the Power um, of Prayer. And then this book I ordered, Don Miguel Ruiz Jr. This is his son, but um, his father writes book, Don Miguel Ruiz. And the book I read back in 2019, The Four Agreements, that's also a wonderful book. I recommend anyone out there who just needs some words of encouragement, some spiritual guidance uh, to read that book. So yeah, um, A Toltec Guide to Personal Freedom. So I'm excited to read this. So yeah, those are like two of my two great authors. If you're looking for something to help change your outlook on life and stuff, I feel like Joseph Murphy and um, Don Miguel Ruiz, they're they're really good authors. I feel like you will like their books. They'll help you. You'll take something from their books because I took something from it. Um, just a quick little backstory. Back in 2019, uh, I went through a tough time. Um, I was diagnosed with a condition. I don't want to say it was a sickness because, I mean, I guess it's a form of the sickness. But anyway, I was diagnosed with that condition. Basically, what that is, that's basically inflammation in your rib cage. Um, and because of that, it was causing sharp pains in my chest. I mean, y'all, like that pain was so unbearable. It's like I couldn't cough in. It even hurt to breathe. Like it just. The pain was just so unbearable. I had to be on bed rest. I was out of work for a period of time because of it. 
I was just a, a total mess. Um, and basically, the cause of that was like they were seeing like trauma, um, overworking yourself, stress. Basically, I feel like stress was the number one cause for me having that because nothing else like pretty much was like you can get that from, I guess, other than... <laughs> All right, mommy fixed it. Because I was overworked and stressed, it caused me to um, develop that type of condition. And when I had that, because I was in so much pain and stuff, I just, I lost a lot of faith, y'all. I'm not even going to lie to you. Um, and I don't know how I came across his book. I just know I ended up ordering it. And I had nothing but, like, time on my hands because I was in bed and stuff. So I just decided one day to start reading that book. And I kid you, y'all, no lie. Once I started practicing what was talked about in that book and how to heal from within, my body literally started to heal on its own. Like, I felt so much better after. I feel like that book really healed me along with, like, prayer and strong faith. But just doing it repetitively. Um, okay. Okay. It, I feel like my body ended up healing and God, obviously, like between that book, God and my faith, I ended up becoming healed from the condition I had. And um, ever since then, like that book has just really changed my outlook on life. Um, and that's how I came and started my healing journey, my spiritual journey. I'm still on a journey. Um, I feel like a spiritual journey, a healing journey, whatever you want to call it. Like, I feel like it's a lifetime thing. It's just all a part of growing and um, applying what you know and helping others. Like, that's that's what I feel like um, it does for me. I don't know. I mean, obviously, uh, I'm still a work in progress. Um, I don't have life all figured out. But I know, like reading spiritual books and stuff it helps me uh from time to time when i need to pick me up or i'm going through a tough time in my life i pick up a book um, and read i pray every day so i just thought i'd share that with you guys because i know you guys don't see enough of that um there's more to me than just hauls and t t tutorials and makeup and stuff like that um I'm, I'm really like a grounded individual i'm big on being grounded and just applying what I know just to help other people as well. Because, y'all, as I mentioned before, life can get a little rocky from time to time. But um, my faith is what keeps me going. My family, my child, you know, just being surrounded by genuine love is what keeps me going. And I'm big on that. And I just want to share um, the skills that I'm learning throughout this journey with other people out there. So... <laughs> like a solid color black bag this is pretty just to take on a trip like a crossbody oh that blue is pretty too black with the chain sorry honey Here. This is what I came for. They've been talking about like the saltier brand on the, on the social media. I want to smell it. Hello, you guys. Welcome back to the channel. Today is March 16th. It's like 20 minutes until Whoa. six. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> And I put in a clip of us going to Target, but I'm going to show y'all what I got. I couldn't really vlog, and then we ended up going to Walmart as well. But I couldn't really vlog because my phone's dying. So, um, yeah, I'm going to just show y'all what I got from Target. Wow. Um, yes. Okay. The Target bag. Um, so, first thing I picked up was this purse. Um, and I got this solid black purse just to go with... Um, some of my outfits for the trip next month and i didn't have a regular solid black black purse and i just thought this was so cute look at the back and it was only 30 dollars, y'all from a new day um and then let me show you the inside Oop. 
this all look and the quality feels amazing y'all know how i feel about target purses anyways like i love hold on quality got a little better better i had to turn my light on but um i was saying target purses are really nice quality it's so soft like and then it got gold um strap and then it goes back into the leather but i'm not really a crossbody purse girl um I don't know, but I think this will come in handy when my hands is tied. Y'all know how that mom life go. So, yeah. I just thought this was super cute. So, I got this bag. We got these kids' sunglasses section in um, Target's little section. I forgot what it's called. Bullseye section. These were only a dollar. I just thought these were so cute for Akasia to take on her trip. So, yeah, I had to grab my baby these. Then I got some feminine wash, down there wash. I like the way this works um, for me. And it was only $4.99. So, yeah, this is a good feminine wash. It's called down there wash. So, I got that. And then I got this Jergens Deep Conditioning Shea and Cocoa Butter Blend Lotion. Y'all, this smells so good. I'm such a sucker for things that smell good. Like, it makes no sense. <laughs> So, yeah, like, I love smelling good. I love things that smell good. So, yeah, whip butter blend. And I can't wait to use this on my skin. I am sitting up. Okay. Um, And then I ended up picking up this Tree Hut Shea Sugar Scrub and Exotic Bloom. This also smells good. Um, So, I had to grab this. Um, And, yeah. So, that's all I got from Target. I got from Target. Then, as you guys can see right here, this mirror I got from Walmart. Mom, I just want a mirror right here. Um, Mom, push your head. No, mommy doesn't want to lay down. Head. I'm vlogging. <laughs> can you stop bossing me around, please? Mommy's not laying down right now. Um, yeah, I ended up getting an extra mirror. I just want a mirror to go right here, just to even it out and to potentially show you guys some outfit looks. I don't know. But yeah, so I ended up getting another oh, mirrors right here. I kind of want it higher, so I'm gonna have my boyfriend just maybe um, nail it to the wall so it could just lift higher. And yeah, I gotta take that sticker off and stuff. And then I also ended up picking up like a fuzzy black rug because I had a tan rug in front of our door and it just was filthy and nasty. And I'm like, oh no, we need a, a black rug. But I couldn't find a solid black rug, so I ended up going with the fuzzy black fur rug. Um, it'll do for now. I'm pretty sure I'll swap it out again. But um, it gets the job done for right now. So, yeah, that is all I got from those two stores. Then we ended up ordering Applebee's. Day number two, not cooking again. Um, and Acacia had Pizza Hut. So, yeah, um, work. This has been a, like a long work week, so I'm glad I got the next two days off because you can, I just ain't been in the mood to really be cooking. I just want to relax at the work. But Friday, I'm pretty sure I'm going to cook. If, and if not, Friday, Saturday for sure. So one of the days off, I'm going to end up cooking something, um, some food to eat. So, yeah, I just got back up here to show y'all what I got. And my face be super oily. I don't know if I'm going to show y'all my skincare, um, but I have been using the Good Molecules um, Serum. I don't see a difference as of right now, but I only been I've used it like three times. I gotta consistently use it. Like I missed a day yesterday, but um, I gotta consistently use it, and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna see a difference. And um, yeah. So once I consistently use it, then I can let y'all know how I like it so far. It does make my face soft. I will say that. Um. So, yeah, I guess I'll check back in with you guys tomorrow and the next day. So, I'll see you guys. Hello, you guys. Welcome back to the channel. It is March 17th. Um, Disregard my hair and stuff, y'all. I ain't do my makeup. I ain't do my hair or nothing. I just woke up like this. Um, I brushed my teeth and everything. But um, right now, me and my sister, we're currently cooking some Sunday din din. Um, So, yeah, I got up to cooking stuff. But I think today just going to be a chill rest day for me. Cause your girl's tired. Like I look tired in the face. But on the, on a brighter note, my skin is looking very glowy. And love that for me. Um. So yeah, right now we're just cooking Sunday dinner. What's on the menus? Cornbread, cabbage. She said she want to make like a stew chicken. Cornbread, cabbage, stew chicken, and um. 
Oh, and macaroni and cheese, y'all. I done lost my train of thought. Um, and macaroni and cheese. So, yeah, I'm excited to eat that. My stomach, I'm hungry. I'm so hungry. Um, it's not even 2 o'clock yet, but, y'all, uh, we used to, over here, like, growing up, my mom had dinner done by, like, 12, 1 o'clock. So, we used to eat a full early and dinner early, right, Tope? So, yeah, I'm hungry. And I cook breakfast, so I don't know why I'm so hungry. Like, I ate breakfast. I don't know. I just had these moments where I just be super hungry, even after I eat something like that. Um... So, yeah, I guess I'll check back in with you guys later. I'm doing nothing today. I ran on my errands yesterday. Um, I did want my boyfriend to mount that mirror. So, I'll show y'all how that turned out. Even though I got all my, like, she and stuff over in the little corner over there. I'm going to move that. And then, um, I'm going to show y'all how it look. So, yeah. <clears throat> we can pick this vlog back up. Hopefully, tomorrow I get into something. I don't know. Oh, my day's off now, y'all. I just like to relax sometimes. I like to do my errands while I'm out after work. Um, but yeah, so I will catch you guys tomorrow. Sunday dinner. Oh, yeah, I just got back up here to show you guys that. Um, and yeah, I haven't really been vlogging today because y'all, I just been. I haven't been in the mood, but <laughs> I'm still trying to get up here and record even when I'm not in the mood just to like keep pushing myself because it's like when I don't be in the mood and stop vlogging, I won't post for a while. So we try not to be doing that like in 2023. We trying to be consistent and just keep going with the flow even when we don't feel like it. Um, So yeah, plus I, yeah, I ain't do, I ain't going nowhere. I ain't really do nothing. Sometimes I don't really do stuff. So, I don't know. Sometimes I feel like that's just boring just to be filming, just to film and not doing nothing, you know? But sometimes my life is like that. I'm not always going to places. I'm not always um, shopping and things of that nature. So, yeah. For dinner, it's looking like some pizza. So, that's what I'm about to order. Um, and, yeah, I think I'm going to close this vlog out right here. I think the next time I'm going to vlog... It's going to be a vacation travel vlog. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. I'm super excited. We're going on a family trip. So, yeah, I can't wait. The countdown begins. Um, so, yeah, if you guys want to see more videos like this, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.